We've come a long way as a rainbow nation, but the wounds of the past are still healing. Only by treating each other with dignity and respect will we make the path to peace a pretty one. Which is why it's now more important than ever to survive the national threat of bad service. When I announced that the next episode of Sentence Survival Guide would tackle the serious issue of bad service, I received my first negative comment saying that I'm a privileged princess who's out of touch with the day-to-day -day struggles of the working class with an irritating accent. I might have thought twice about continuing had I also not received hundreds of letters in support of this episode from all kinds of people from all over the Greater Sandton area. Because bad service affects everyone and it has the power to make us feel so bad about life that we can become a danger to all, including ourselves. I told her very clearly that I wanted it golden blonde. Great colour for your skin tone. And totes. Only, I was under the dryer so long. When I finally saw it, it was ashy platinum. What did you do then, Sean? I called her an evil bitch and threw my smoothie in her face. I didn't know she was allergic to nuts. It's clear we have no control over what we do when victimised by bad service. In paying a skin specialist to fix the unfortunate result is expensive. The best way to survive bad service is to avoid it at all costs. Here are my tips. Tip one, know what you want. It's almost impossible for someone to give you what you want if you don't know yourself. Take as much time as you need to make sure if it's the low-fat cream cheese sesame bagel you want or a side salad sprinkled with sesame seeds if you're banting. When you place your order, use a clear, confident voice that leaves no room for confusion. I'll have the low-fat cream cheese sesame bagel. But go light on the cheese, thanks babe. Just remember to be equally clear and confident if you change your mind a bit later. I'll actually have a butternut soup without the cream and croutons with a sesame bun with just a few seeds. Thanks babe. Tip two, know your servicer. Services only care about you if they know you and the best way to achieve this is by getting to know them too. Alpheus and his team were about to service my garden but I thought we'd have a friendly chat first. Hi Alpheus. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm fine, thank you. Great. And how's the work going? No, the, the, the work is going good. It's going very well. Wonderful. Yeah. Alpheus, that's good to know. <laughs> can, can I get back to it? Yes, no, um, yes, of course. Uh, Thanks so much, okay. Alpheus. <laughs> thank, thank you, ma'am. We'll catch up later. Tip three stand up for yourself. Being kept waiting for service can make even the tallest person feel small. If you think you've been waiting too long, stand up and demand to be treated with the respect you deserve. If you're wearing heels above four inches, stand up for respect a bit more slowly. Are you okay? Surviving. Tip four. Give signals. Unsolicited calls from banks, insurance and market research companies are the ultimate form of bad service. Hello? Oh. To survive them, I have a pre-recorded answer on my other phone. Thanks, hun, but I'm not interested. That saves my voice Thanks, from wear and tear and allows me to stay calm. Thanks, hun, but I'm not interested. 
If that doesn't work, give them a short, sharp signal that makes them think twice about phoning you unnecessarily in the future. To tell you about a great offer. If that still doesn't work, use something a little louder that really sends the message. It's also a great way to get someone's attention if you think that bad service is about to happen. Tip 5. Clear your bad karma. If nothing stops your bad service, it might be because you're carrying bad karma from a past life. Like if you were a gold hoarding hell queen that never gave to your starving subjects a thousand years ago, you'd have a lot of bad karma today. My personal stylist and spiritual advisor, fiance, clears my karma at least once a month, even though in this life I give to beggars all the time. It's not working. We're going to have to try something stronger. Give them the gold, Hell Queen! Give them the gold! Bad service can be survived. Just follow my advice and stay calm and centered at all times. And don't throw smoothies into anyone's face. Mineral water safer, sparkling or still. In the next episode of Phantom Survival Guide, I'd like to hear from you what challenges you need help with. Now that's what I call being of great service. Until then, Santon, keep surviving. The people of South Africa need service now. And if you are not going to provide it based on, on apathy, uh, incompetence, corruption, then you need to move out of the way for those who can do their job and those who really want to help people. Do you want some juice? I can see you quite hot. Thanks to Yada Yada Clothing and Accessories for supporting Santa and survivors and also to Cafe Treviso where the service is always great. <laughs> <laughs>